Hey guys, in this video, I want to go through Slick Code 547 uh, number of provinces. There are n cities, some of them are connected, while some are not. If a city A is connected directly with city B, and city B is connected directly with um, city C, then A and B is connected, A and C are connected indirectly, and thus consider one province. So uh, the definition of province is defined here. It's a group of uh, direct or indirectly connect, uh, connected cities, and uh, no other cities are outside this group. And so we are giving an n by n matrix. The name of the matrix is called is connected, uh, and uh, is connected i and j equals to one if the i city and the J CD are directly connected, otherwise it's zero. So um, we need to write a function to return the total number of provinces. Let's take a look at an example here. Uh, it's 110, 110, one, zero, one, one, zero, and 001. I put it out on an Excel. So as you can see, uh, so that means A and well, A and itself are connected, and A and B are directly connected. And uh, for B, and B with itself is directly connected for sure. And also B with A is connected. So C is not connecting anything but itself. That's why C uh, is an independent province. And also and then A and B, they are uh, within one province. So the challenge of that is to find the indirect connection relationship, right? In the indirect connection relationship. And we need to use a DFS. So a indirect connection will look like this. Um, a and B are connected directly. And then B and D I can I connect it directly as you can see the matrix in here. So A and D, they are indirectly connected. So even though it shows zero in here, because they are not directly connected, but they are A and D still in the same province. So in this case, the correct answer will be uh, two provinces. Uh, one province uh, is the CDC, which is not con con uh, connected either directly or indirectly with anyone else. And uh, A and then the other province will be A, B, and D. Okay, so uh, we need to use a DFS to find all the uh, direct connection and indirect connect connection. So let me show you how we can do that. Um, so first we need to um, We need to initialize the number of provinces, so uh, I zero at the starting point, and which we will uh, return uh, the total number of provinces at the end. Visit it. Let's keep track of it's a set, so we keep track of uh, what are other provinces we have been visited uh, along the way, so we don't uh, we du duplicate our work. And then, uh, so for city. Is a particular city that we are visiting. Also, the neighboring connections. So basically, uh, let me go back to this one. So, if we are visiting A, and the and the neighbor connections will be this row, okay. And uh, we, if we are visiting city B, and this will be uh, the neighbor connections that are associated with B. So it's the second row. Okay, and then we can use the E demerit of the is connection. So basically, we, we so CD actually is the index, and uh, and this one is actually that row that we're pulling. If the CD is not already been visited, and so that means this is a new CD that we are visiting, and we need to add one to the number of province because this is a brand new 
city that we have been not yet visited. So there will be this province will belong to this uh well this city belongs to this province, and then we will do a DFS on these uh, neighboring connections which associate that city. Uh, again, the neighboring connections basically is a role for that city. And uh, so now, how can we do a DFS? Is um, we so we we do a DFS on a given neighboring connection. So we basically do a DFS on the row. And for another city, and also is that city is in connection with the current city that we're looking at. So basically. Um, for another city, in this case, we look at this row for another city will be B, and is B is in connection with A? In this case, is yes. And and then another city over here, another city in this case is C, is C in connection with A? In this case, is no. So basically, this is in connection basically it means is it in direct connection and then if that is in in the direct connection with that city and also that city has not been visited we are visiting right now that's why we added to the visited set at the same time we will do a dfs on the neighbor connections of that new city that we are visiting. So basically is connected and then look at that another city, basically is the neighboring connection of the new city that we are visiting. So basically uh, it means that let's say um, we do a, so at the beginning over here, we're doing a DFS on this row and then we find that B is in a direct connection with A and then we will do a DFS in B's row, and then we have come across that D, D as in dog, is in direct connection with B, and then we will do a DFS on these neighbor connections. So this is how uh, how it works. This DFS. Um, let's run the code. And I submitted already, so uh, it's very efficient. Um, so in terms of time complexity, uh, there's a big O of N square. So basically we are uh, traversing the complete matrix of N, the size N square. So N being uh, the number of rows. So N is also the same for number of columns. This is the uh, square matrix. Uh, for space complexity, uh, we need is a visited set that keep track of uh, how many cities we have been uh, we have visited at that point so we don't duplicate our work uh, so as you can see it's pretty efficient uh, yeah so this is so much for this solution i hope you like it if you do please like this video and consider subscribing the channel that will be a huge encouragement to me and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching Bye-bye.